storm. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm at Lowe's, hi, trying to find. <laughs> and I've decided that I am buying terracotta pots for all of my cacti and succulents because half of them are in shitty pots. <laughs> so, David stole my Pepsi. Rude. What did I steal? Pepsi, okay. Oh, Do they have house fun. plants here? <laughs> Easily distracted by plants. Are you Forbia? Is that what you're trying to say? Hmm? And an aloe? I really want one of these like really big ones. This almost looks like a blue one. So Size queen. They have some fiddles <laughs> and $29 for it's a pretty small monstera. Look at that peace lily. I want it. Um, um what? What? It's a special buy, you guys. That's insane. <laughs> but it is huge. It's in like a 12 inch pot, so. I did see these angel wings. Ooh, they have a little Birkin. How much is the Birkin? Hello? 25. That's expensive. You can get it cheaper. But it does come with a nice pot. These are really pretty. And I really want one, but I like killed them half the time. <laughs> I don't know where David is. Like he was just here. Hmm. I want one of these. I'm gonna show you. I really like this one. I want it so bad, but I didn't know I'm gonna kill it. Mmm. You guys, I'm all alone. I'm actually like freaking out. David! Why would he just leave me like that? <sighs> Hello? I found you. I was looking at the terror. Uh, okay, where are they? <laughs> How rude. I was looking for you for like 10 hours. Oh, Look at that. I found the terracotta. So I'm thinking of getting like these 10, or yeah, I think they're 10 inch. Yeah, 10.6 inch. And they are $5.99. And then I was gonna get just some smaller ones for $2.49. But then they have this like off, like terracotta color, which is kind of cute. And this one is actually really cute too. And I have like a couple that I could maybe put in there. I don't know. Which one should I get? Which one do you think I'm gonna get? Pause this video and tell me in the comment section. <laughs> hey you guys, this is what we have. <laughs> it's a giant ball of oh my pot. God. Terracotta. So many, I can't wait to repot. Yay! We're off to a great start because I just dumped my soil. All right, everything's a mess, but you saw, welcome back. <laughs> uh, you saw, let's just put this beard back here. This is a gin and tonic, I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a repot with me. You saw me purchasing these pots, and I'm going to be doing my repotting my cactuses and succulents in the same color pot, same size. Well, these ones are smaller. I have some smaller ones, whatever. But I'm also going to be doing a 20 random facts about me because why not? I have like almost 350 subscribers. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Did I hit record? Oh, I did. So because I don't have like too, too many like subscribers or followers or whatever, um, yeah, I need something to talk about while I do this. So 20 facts about me, fun, fun, fun. So I have a bunch of plants that I'm going to be doing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight larger ones, and I think eight, nine, eight, eight uh, smaller ones. What I'm going to do, so because these are spiky cactuses, we're going to be using some tongs. You have to do that, even if you're not like using them and you see them, you're like. Um, I would advise an oven mitt, but then David was like, well, we use that. And then it's going to be hard to like clean. So we're going to dump that. And he got me some gardening gloves, which is much better. <laughs> oh my, I am like melting. Oh, I'm having a hot flash. And I'm 30. Flirty and thriving. I'm just kidding. All right, and my random facts about me are, <laughs> I hope you guys like chaos, because welcome, <laughs> welcome to chaos. Oh, and then I'm going to be watering and fertilizing. Cactus fertilizer, which is 
Beer is called Jerk Face 9000. We're gonna do the smaller ones first, and I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the ones that are, aren't so uh, aren't so crazy, aren't so spiky. So, fact number one about me: I sleep with a stuffy. So what that means is I have a stuffed animal that I've had. It's a little Dalmatian. I'll throw a picture on the screen. It's a little Dalmatian puppy. Like, it is a Walt Disney Dalmatian puppy. Um, try to use as much, like, old soil uh, as you can. And Dalmatian puppy from Walt Disney. It's like an official Disney, Walt Disney. And I've had it since I was, like, five. I remember at one point I had lost it. And, uh, and then it got so ratty and I was always made fun of it by my friends and shit. And all oh, these plants are gonna be so much happier in this soil. And um, my brother found the exact same one, the exact same year on like eBay. He bought me a brand new one. I'll put a picture here. This is what it used to look like. <laughs> and yeah, I sleep with it every night. I don't like cuddle it, even if it's just like on my pillow, like right beside me that I'm happy, but yeah, weird fact about me. I hope I'm not alone. I'm 30, if you wanted a clarification. Old pots, this is gonna be a very messy repot with me. Okay, um, number two, lounging is the best, you guys. So when David met me, he asked me what were my hobbies, <laughs> and I said lounging, or maybe it was the opposite, I can't remember. Um, he said, do you like to lounge? And then I was like, oh my god, I have no life. <laughs> I do, I honestly love to just hang out and lounge. And I could do that all day. I could lay in bed or on a couch, literally all day. But I needed to get some hobbies, and that's actually where plants came in, so. I'm glad that plants came into my life, and now I have plants to keep me occupied. I still like lounging, don't get me wrong. And yeah, this is kind of weird. The weirdo. That's okay. We love weirdos around here. Number three is plants two. <laughs> I wrote like short form. So plants two years ago. So that means that I started getting into plants two years ago. Um, my father passed away two years ago, ish, and I've known David for like four years. We've been together for that long, but um, yeah, I don't know. I was like, I grew up around plants. My dad loved plants. He loved cattle lilies and everything. I've talked about that before, and I don't know. He just, um, I feel like he was a really big influence as to why I wanted plants, and I started getting into it when he passed away. But of course, David too. Like David was always always gardening. Gardening really wasn't my thing. And like, I just started really getting into plants. Um, some people influenced me in my life. A lot of YouTubers. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a really fun hobby. I love getting my hands dirty now. And yeah, it's just like calming, relaxing. It's a really good hobby. And sometimes it can be expensive, but sometimes it can just be just right. Tip. Fuck this, this video is gonna be long. Okay. And one more, right. one more non like crazy spiky one. All right, number four is love slash hate calatheas. I love calatheas because they're honestly like gorgeous. They're so pretty, but man, they're assholes. <laughs> they're dramatic. They need a lot of like humidity. Uh, they don't need that much light, but they need a lot of like love, humidity. And like, I just don't have time for that. I, I don't have, I don't live in a climate like that. So it's like really kind of hard to, oh no, that's okay. See if this happens, just shove it back in the soil. Like, or I'll do that after. But yeah, like there's just a lot of work and I just don't have time to do that. Um, they're gorgeous. I've had lots. I've gotten rid of lots. I've killed lots. They also are very prone to spider mites. 
um, in my opinion, all of mine always had spider mites. So I parted with them maybe one day again, but maybe when I'm out here uh, permanently and whatnot, and then maybe I could redo the whole calathea thing. But as of right now, I don't really, can't really do calatheas. Are you a calathea person? Give me all the tips if you are. Okay, I gotta put my gloves on for the next one, but I, number five, four, five, I am 30 years old. I just turned 30 in May. I'm like, honestly, I know people say like, they, I'm sweating. I'm sorry if I'm sweating, it's very hot in here. But if I like go through, like people say they go through like a, a midlife crisis when, it, when they're 30, but like I went through like, I kind of did like I started working out a lot more I'm running and shit if you follow me over anywhere on Instagram I post lots but on my blogs here I'm running I'm exercising more I'm calorie counting I'm doing more for myself and I feel like that's just what I did when I turned 30 but I'm not gonna stop like having fun and drinking and shit. oh my god okay, these are the spiky ones so these might, might take more time. Okay, you want to go that way? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, number six. I have a Heidi. A Heidi is my daughter. She is two and a half years old and, well, in August she will be. And she is everything. I know everyone says that about their children, but honestly, it's true. I love her. She is great. She is adventurous. She is everything that I <laughs> wish I kind of was, so I don't know where she came from. But uh, she is just a very like outgoing, fun little two and a half year old and I can't wait till she grows up. I post a lot about her on my blog. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a vlog. Number seven, I wrote pandemic wedding. Um, oh shit, okay, these ones are gonna be really hard. Let's do the easiest one. What that means is I was in, I, I, we got engaged like, oh yeah, so, FYI, I have some cactuses here, and I'm actually gonna mix in some, it's just sand, like, sand. Um, a little bit of sand, and a little bit of like, kind of clay soil, uh, just because they like drier fixtures. Um, yeah, so, pandemic wedding, we got engaged two Christmases ago, and yeah, I was supposed to get married last New Year's, but it never happened. Excuse me, there's a little gem in here. And it never happened, and now this year, I'm hoping, I just don't know what's happening anymore. Like, ugh, I'm just so, it's hard. If you're also planning a wedding or some sort of big event, like an anniversary or something, I feel for you, girl, girl boy, whatever it is. Like, it's hard. You're not motivated to do anything. So wish me luck that I can have a wedding this New Year's with everything going on like in the world and stuff and yeah. I feel like this pot might be a little bit too big. Guys, this video is going to be long so grab some drinks, snacks, <gasps> whatever it may be. Okay. Alright. Uh, Alright, next up I wrote Canada. Oh, I live in Canada. I live in Manitoba. Um, North, I don't know, whatever. Look on a map. Um, that's where I live. <laughs> and I love it. I don't know. I love it and I don't love it. The winters are really rough. Like, the winters are kind of shitty. It gets really cold here, but we manage. We always say we're gonna like buy a house one day in like Arizona or something, but I don't know. I'm making such a mess in here. It's gonna be like, what happened? This one's really spiky. Okay, next one is number nine, uh, Ukrainian dance. So I Ukrainian danced from the time I was like five until I turned probably uh, 18. Um, I stopped because I got into a really bad car accident, which I'm gonna touch on later on, I think. Um, I got into a really bad car accident and The day, like, literally a week after I got into my car accident, um, were auditions for the next phase of my 
dance. It was never a career, but it was just always a hobby, and I was just really disappointed that I didn't get to do it. And then, ever since then, I dreamed of dancing again, but such is life. And maybe one day, when I have a little bit more time on my hands, I could do that again. But it was so much fun, Ukrainian dancing. I don't know, it was just like, I made friends. It was just an amazing experience. And I can't wait to put Heidi in something like that because yeah, okay, this one, <laughs> this one is a nightmare. I don't even know what to do with this one. I think I might need my tongs because I don't know if this one got a little bit of root rot or what, but it kind of like fell apart a little bit. So I'm not sure what to do. Um, next one. Uh, thunderstorms slash tornadoes. I'm terrified of both. Especially tornadoes. There's a ride, or there used to be a ride at like Universal Studios, where you literally just go in and you stand there, and it's like it's like it's like Twister in the movie, and it's just like wind and shit. And like I was terrified of it, <laughs> like literally terrified. I cried my eyes out, and my whole entire family went in without me, and like my cousin stayed back with me. And yeah, I went to it obviously after because I know what happened, but. I was just scared and even thunderstorms now that I'm older a little bit older like thunderstorms don't really like freak me out but I don't know it's still scary they're still scary because I'm afraid of the whole tornado I think I'm more afraid of like tornadoes but yeah shit. okay I might need to pause or speed up footage I highly suggest tongs like little tongs, you could probably find them in the dollar store. Alright, so now I'm done with the littler ones. I'm going to move shit out of the way and I'll be right back. So now we're gonna get into like the bigger ones, I guess. Um some of these might not be spanky, but okay. So took my glasses off because they were making me sweat. It's hot in here. <laughs> I love it. I just say it's hot in here. David's walking around with no shirt and just in boxers. I love it. <laughs> I feel like I didn't press Ugh, the anxiety when you're a YouTuber. I did. On my phone. I got 14%, so I gotta make this quick. Alright. So next one is. Oh, okay. I like to ask. Oh no! Teacher. Okay, so when I was growing up, I wanted to be a. Like if you asked me what I wanted to be, it was teacher. And um, I don't know. I went to high school for hair school. So in my high school, they had a cosmetology program, and it was oh my god. And it was like three years, grade 10, 11, 12, and you like just. It was a fun, it was honestly like a very good social um, class to take. And then I apprenticed for a little bit and then I decided that I fucking hated it. Okay, wow. So you can't really see the roots on this one, but like this is, this needs a new pod, like 100%. It's a poor plan. Although it's thriving. So I'm really, I hope that me doing this kind of stuff isn't gonna hurt my plan. Sometimes plants get like super shocked and they're like, oh, what are you doing? Wow, I love how this plant looks in this pot. I'm so happy. Yes, all right. Boom, baby. All right, uh, chicken finger Yeah, I like asking people this question, but what is your question if you were on death row? I hope that's not triggering for people, but if I was on death row, my last meal would be either chicken fingers fries and a poutine, like heavy poutine, or um, spaghetti with meat sauce and a tall glass of cold milk, but it has to be like leftover spaghetti, um, like day after spaghetti because that's the best, cut into little pieces and tons of the fake parm. That's what I love. That's what I love. All right. Uh, I can't cook. <laughs> Number 
13, I wrote, I can't cook. Oh! Okay, the roots are pretty crazy on this one, too. Um, I can't cook, really. I mean, I like to say that everyone can cook, but if you read a recipe, you can cook. If you can read English or whatever language, you can cook. You just have to have the time. I'm not really a fan of it. I also don't bake. David's not really into baking, so I kind of hit the jackpot with that. Here and there he likes a pie or whatever, which I'll just buy. But yeah, no, like, I don't know, I just, I don't cook. Number 14 is cat. So I grew up with cats um, my entire life. I have a cat named Meow Meow, I'll put a picture over here. And I've always had cats growing up, and I, know, I like cats. They're cute, they're adorable, they're easy to care for, like some plants. And I don't know, when I get, when we move, when we're retired, I want a dog. But I want like a big dog. I want like a Malamute Husky that's gonna protect. That's gonna like protect me and my family and Alright, so I think the last non-spiky one, I have two more, or three more. So the next one, number 14 is, uh, 15 is impact that YouTube has given me. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I've been following lots of people on YouTube for a very long time, especially like daily vloggers. I think it's, and that's why I started YouTube. To be honest, like I've been wanting to do it for a very long time. Like somewhere around like 10 plus years and yeah I don't know I've been influenced by a lot of different vloggers and then just educating myself when I was pregnant I started watching Plant Arena when I was getting into plants and everything just came into place and YouTube has been a very 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 big impact on my life. That's why I'm trying to make it a career one day. <laughs> Let's check this cat. So I have one, two, three, four, at least six more to do here. Um, all right. So these pots are getting big and I'm running out of space. So the next one is car accident. All right, so when I was like 17, literally just before my grade 12 grad, I got to a car accident with a guy who was like my best friend at the time. And just unexpectedly, we like rolled the car twice head first and it was kind of shitty. Nothing really happened. I broke my foot. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, I couldn't dance anymore. I couldn't Ukrainian dance anymore. So that was probably the most traumatic, traumatic thing that happened to me. And of course, I'll maybe find some photos. <laughs> I had to go to I had a very gorgeous dress. I went to, like a year prior, maybe a few months prior, I went to New York for the first time and I bought my dream dress. I bought a dream dress and my mom cried when I put it on. Like she didn't even cry when I put on my fucking wedding dress. And like, I had it had a slit up to like my fucking punani. And I had to sew that slit down to the ground. I put myself in a cast because I knew I was gonna drink because I was legal age. And I hate it, grad. And I hate it because is the next one high school? The next one is high school because I I hated high school. Middle school was so much better. I'm gonna start crying. But like honestly, like high school, everyone's like, oh, high school are the best years of your life, and it wasn't for me. I did a lot of stupid shit, and I smoked a lot of stuff, and I drank, and. I may have come out with a few, like, delinquents, but not really. I had, like, three friends. I was in hair school. It, I was a social butterfly. I just didn't like high school. Because I got into my car accident with hair school, to pass your exam, you need to um, stand there and actually do haircuts. Well, I couldn't do that because I was in a cast. Well, I got passed, and they passed me because I got my I did like my written exam perfectly fine so they passed me and I didn't even go to my convocation I didn't wear the, the gown 
they nailed because I didn't want to. I could have, but I didn't want to. I, did, I went to grad and have a boyfriend. I went to grad with my best friend at the time. High school was just a blur. I don't like it. It wasn't a thing. It wasn't me. High school was not. I feel like high school was too social or like they put too much pressure on like doing this and doing that and like being friends with everyone or having your own clique and like that's not how it should be. You should just have your own friends and just do whatever you want in this class. So No one really knows that like I hated high school. <laughs> Except for maybe the three friends, Emma and Lauren, that I had. I hated it. I don't talk about it because, hi, I'm crying. Get yourself together, bro. Mel. My name is Melissa. M-E-L-I-S-S-A. People call me Mel and I hate it. Don't call me Mel. Unless you've known me my entire life, you're not allowed to call me Mel. Fuck, I need more soil. <laughs> Half my soil fell on the floor. <laughs> okay. I need my glove. Okay, moving on from Sappy Sapperson. We have Oh the last three. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. Maybe I'm just gonna speed this part up for a bit. Okay, I have my last four and I gotta be really quick. I had to get some more soil. Uh, Alright, so let's just jump into it. Anyone else? The messiest blonde hair ever. My phone is at 5%. Did I say that right? Okay. So the next three like random facts about me, I asked David. So first one he said was crocodile alligator. So um, I sat on an alligator. I went to Florida once on a family trip and I sat on a fucking alley. <laughs> and I put it in, so me and David met on POF and um, it's a dating website and it was one of my photos and honestly whenever a guy messaged me it was the only thing that they said you saw an alligator and that's exactly what David said. So like he knows it bugs me but yeah I sat on a fucking alligator and I'll put the picture right here. It was fun. His mouth was, it wasn't that fun. His mouth was taped with like black electrical tape. And I'm like, um, is that like safe? And there was like, you can kind of see in the photo, there's like other alligators just chilling behind me with no tape on their fucking face. So I still think that that isn't deep enough. Might have to fix that one after, but not yet. All right, so this is a mermaid. I love this guy. I think I'm going to, Perlite in that uh, neat straw. Okay, number 19 is dance party. So, me and David, oh, me and David like to have dance parties. So, we download music and we literally, the music videos, let's be clear. Not just the music, it's the music videos. And we just like get drunk. <laughs> we have dance parties in our living room. I don't know, it's a lot of fun and it's just a part of who we are and what we're about, you guys. I hope my phone isn't dead. I might have to do an intro after, if it, or an outro after if it is. Okay, these last two are gonna be like shit soil. So I'm actually going to mix quite a bit of sand in there. There, my aloe and my spider plant. Uh, so the last one I have here is lawnmower. So, oh my god, look at these roots, how cute. I love mowing the lawn, like literally love it. Like it's it, on the riding mower. Um, it was my dad's favorite, my dad was a landscaper and I think I got it from him. <laughs> but I absolutely love mowing the lawn with a beer. I think that's my favorite. Sometimes when um, Heidi's not around, I'll vibe out some sweet music and I just like jam. 
and I love it. And it's peaceful, and I'm by myself. I just love it. It must have last month. Did you learn anything? If you made it this far, because this video is fucking long, let me know with a plant emoji, because I need to know. And I think my phone probably has died, but I'm gonna do it anyways. My outro. Uh, thank you for joining me. <coughs> thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to maybe take a picture of each one and do a little slideshow now. And if not, follow me over on my Instagram because I post every day, all day over there updates and shit of like my videos and it's a good time over there. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm so excited and I'm... Bye, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. If you are this far, plan emoji right now.